can anyways. Yeah. So Jennifer, uh, here we go. We're taking your little boat away. Yeah. I, I hope you Only cash the check. Only years of my life. <laughs> Or cash yes, check yes, quick. Yes, I cashed a check. Okay, already. good. Didn't bounce. Good. Yeah, so, yeah. Matt, what do you got going on? Well, I'm here? installing the fuel tank for the void. <laughs> uh huh. Yeah. We got uh, It's about four gallons. Perfect. I think it'll work. We're just going down the ditch and around the bend. So, God willing, old Volvo should take us that far. No worries. And you started I... it, Matt. We saw the video. Yep. So. So this is what we did. We checked to make sure the windlass worked. We wanted to have a parking brake because we spent zero time working on this boat. We just wanted to get it to Anacortes. So if anything happened, we knew we could drop the hook and sort it out. We got underway, uh, had our bilge pump in a bucket and a spare battery to cover any kind of flooding. And this is the uh, Swinomish Channel that we went down. It was pumping good water. So we figured we had a good shake at uh, making her all the way to Anacortes, but uh, she was loud. That old Volvo really rattled quite a bit. But we're not complaining. She got us where we needed to be. So, uh, got Matt. What do you think about the temperature of the old uh, Swedish girl down there? She's warm. <laughs> she's, she's warm. a hot. She's a hot girl. She's a hot piece. Uh, we're not overly worried about her. Um, oh, we're how, concerned. How, how? That's why we're running at about 1,100 RPMs right now. Uh, we brought it up. To, uh, I think it was 1,600 RPMs. Started to hit in the two teens, you know, yeah, 215 yeah. or something like that. We brought her back down, and then we were at uh, just hanging about 208 degrees Fahrenheit. And, oh, wow. and as as you all know, uh, water boils at 212 degrees Fahrenheit. Fresh water. We have we have salt water in there. The whole engine salt water. This is an open cooling system. So we're right there. We're basically almost boiling. Definitely could cook a crab in it. Uh, but for now, we're just we're making it. We're taking it easy on her. We're going to be watching temperatures. And it's not going to have another day. Anyway. So another one of the fun bits of knowledge about this trip was we had to keep doing um, underway refueling. Not recommended, but the four gallon can there didn't fit and so we had to use the little tiny can which uh, Jennifer had used to make sure the engine fired up for us because of the contaminated fuel. Art had a little finger test there. If he could feel fuel we were in good shape and we could continue on. So one of those things uh, we just trucked along but it was a beautiful day. We had hoped that uh, if we if the engine conked out we could do some sailing but uh, that didn't happen. You can see there was zero wind and uh, good news was in the in this Swinomish channel is that you have current flow because of the tidal exchange. So we had a good knot, knot and a half with us, which allowed us to, to be underway at about four knots, you know, speed over, over ground. And that really helps when you've got a 10 mile trip ahead of you. So we just moved along and uh, counted our blessings that everything was working well. Hold on, hold on. Uh, Art Scott, it just came up from the hole and clipped in there. <laughs> And we're not overheating. 211. Now, plenty of room. Plenty of room. But uh, precisely where do we think the fuel is returning to? Because the tank has but one hose. <laughs> There's no place for it to go otherwise. It must be going back into the secondary. I think so. Yeah, I think these old Volvos do. They return into the into the secondary filter. It's a closed system. I guess if you're not uh, asking much out of the engine, then you shouldn't expect it. <laughs> a lot. I mean, after an hour of being underway, I guess it's a good time to ask that question. I haven't seen any rainbows behind us, so... Uh, well, I, I have been in a situation where we drove for a little while. Put <laughs> focus. Yeah. New York. All right. Right over there is Pacific Marine Center. So, uh, Art's checking the rig. Clifton and uh, Captain Matt. So, uh... We're closing in on our voyage. What do you think? Well, we we have our destination in sight, which is a, a big relief because uh, I just did a temperature check down there. 224 degrees up or Fahrenheit, uh, which is creeping up there. It's starting to get starting to get a little concerning. Um, we back her off a little more. We're down to almost idle now, but still making way. Um, had a little wind that was kind of our backup plan. That went away. Um, so we're hopefully we can make it. 
we see Pacific Marine Center though, um, and big thanks to them, they're letting us just grab out of their dock. We don't need to go maneuver around the marina, especially with this weird shifter that's backwards and throttle that maybe we should have messed with. Uh, but I think we'll make it. Okay, so here we are. We're at the end of a voyage, a successful voyage. The four crew members here, super happy. We didn't catch anything on fire. We didn't need any of our emergency equipment. We didn't even need our tools. The old Volvo ran the whole way. We got to Pacific Marine Center, and we had some, some staff members and Jennifer to meet us and help us tie up the King's Pride, which is our new vessel. Thanks for watching.